Hello, movie fans, and thank you for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kaye. I'm wearing a stocking cap because it's a little bit chilly, but mostly because I wore it earlier today, and if I take it off, my hair is going to be all over the place. Uh, this is the Weekend Box Office Report for November 14th through 16th, 2014. Uh, two new movies in the top ten. Let's get to them. Coming in at number one, Dumb and Dumber 2 from Universal, uh, marking the return of Jim Carrey to bankability. It made uh, $36 million. From what I've heard, maybe that's as good as it's ever going to do. Um, because it's not supposed to be fantastic. Variety hated it, basically is what I'm saying. Variety reviewed it, just shot it down in, um, in multiple ways. But hey, who knows? Variety is, um, well, I know it's a critic, but Variety looks at things from a marketability standpoint rather than from a critical standpoint. I mean, nobody's going and expecting this to be critically important. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, number two and number three, old movies. Uh, they've been on the charts before. Number four, Beyond the Lights from Relativity Media. Sounds like Interstellar, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, came in at $6.2 million. So, whatever's Beyond the Lights, nobody wants to see it. All right, so that's the top ten. And there's other movies, but, you know, new ones. Uh, let's see, coming in, uh, the newest failure is Gladiators of Rome from VPD Pictures. Not so uh, you don't confuse it with, say, Gladiators of Schenectady, Sh or Gladiators of, um, I got nothing. Anyway, uh, it made $1,920 on one screen. Wow, it must be foreign. Must be. Uh, coming in, uh, the, the the very bottom of the chart, right there, right there at the very bottom at number 89, which means there aren't as many new, I mean, movies out this week as there normally are. But coming in at number 89, Rhymes for Young Ghouls from Mont... Pictures, Montgomery, Mont... Uh, Monteleon, I don't know. It made 92 bucks. Rhymes for Young Ghouls, been out for four weeks. Which means maybe there's no longer any Halloween business left. Or maybe the young ghouls have all gone elsewhere. All the young ghouls, you know, they carry the news. All right, so thank you very much for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. Come on back next week. We'll give you more.